Hey YouTube, what's going on? The tree that you see behind me is a gigantic pecan tree. It might be 80, 90 years old, I don't even know, but it rains down tons of pecans and I've been pulling up the seedlings that the squirrels have been planting and uh, potting those up. And I've been trying to think of what I can do um, to kind of help them grow and also to kind of add some value to them as I give them away to friends, as I plant them for myself and just kind of gorilla planting out in the world or sell them, whatever I, plan on doing I don't know yet um, but I had a great idea uh, that I saw on Instagram and that is planting or inoculating them with uh, basically truffles pecan truffles and so what I did was I ordered some on eBay the only place I could find them was one seller on eBay and I just got them from Lithuania today that's tuber leone leonii and it looks like they're in you know it's attached to these little pellets I'm not exactly sure how I should be applying these. If I'm just applying them directly to the roots, I was planning on, uh, they said they were selling me mycelium, so I was planning on just kind of liquefying it and watering it in multiple times, hoping that uh, it gets root contact and infects all the trees. But I think maybe this is a more direct, um, these little beads are inoculants that just kind of stick to the roots when you um, transplant them out. So that's gonna be my project. Um, coming soon I'm gonna do a video on inoculating the pecan trees uh, with this uh, tuber leonii and uh, I think it's a white truffle and it's gonna I'm not sure how many how many years it's gonna take but it will once it affect, infects all the roots uh, of the tree it will start to produce the truffles um, and they uh, they're also you know it's a mycorrhizal relationship between the the mushroom or excuse me the um, the fungal network and the tree so it's going to actually have a benefit to the tree too it's not like a parasite living on um, on the tree so it's gonna benefit the tree it's also gonna produce more yield because I'm not only gonna get pecans but I'm also gonna get the truffles which are extremely um, high value very expensive uh, especially these are very rare uh, truffles um, that kind of hard to find I might need to you know get some sort of uh, dog to come out and find these truffles. I don't exactly know the best way to find them, but I'm going to find out um, as this uh, unfolds. So if you want to see what happens with the uh, the, the pecan truffles, uh, definitely subscribe to my videos and uh, I'll be posting some updates. Okay, so this is my collection of pecans that I basically uh, pulled up from the seedlings that sprouted this year. Um, they were planted all around my, my yard by the squirrels. Um, and I just basically dug them up and put them into these really cool air pruning pots, which I really love for trees and shrubs because basically um, as the tree tries to grow deep tap roots, um, it gets pruned um, when it hits the air um, by those little slits there and sends out secondary roots. The secondary roots meet the air, they die, they die back a little bit and so on and so forth. So you get a really extensive uh, root system on the trees without them becoming root bound and all like stuck together. So um, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. Um, my plan was to just water in the mycelium onto these, all, these roots and hope that it infects the, uh, the seedlings here, but it looks like those little granules, let's pull them out. Looks like these are meant to be applied maybe directly to the tree itself. You know, like maybe like, you know, one by the surface or, you know, dug into the soil or even, you know, if I'm transplanting the trees out, apply a couple to the, uh, the roots themselves and then insert it into the soil. Maybe that's a better way to do it. I don't exactly know yet. I'm gonna do a little more research um, and figure out the best way to apply. This is the tuber leone. I believe it's a white type of truffle. Um, and then these, uh, the, you know, after a certain amount of years, uh, it will then produce um, truffle mushrooms after growing. Um, it may even inoculate the large tree you see right there. And uh, since that's full grown, I might get as much sooner. 